Clo3D released LiveSync, and I'll show you how to set it up today. You'll bring Clo3D projects to life by syncing with your Unreal Engine world. Today I'll cover how to set up the plugins and how to make a basic animation. You likely found this page. It's a little confusing, so I'll break it down here for you. Go to Setting Up Clo3D here. Download LiveSync 7.324 and unzip the folder. It works for Clo3D 7.4, so don't worry. Go to Setting Up Unreal. Skip Step 1 and do it this way. Open Epic Games Launcher, launch Unreal 5.3, start a new project. Go back to the Epic Games Launcher and navigate to Marketplace. Find Substance 3D for Unreal 5.3 and install from the launcher. It will make the Marketplace folder required in your Unreal folder, if you don't have that already. Now navigate to this location on your hard drive. Copy your unzipped Clo Live Sync folder. Both Substance and Clo Live Sync should be there now. Navigate back to your Unreal project and go to Edit, Plugins, and Enable Substance and Enable Clo Live Sync. Go to Edit, Project Settings, find Platforms, then Windows, and find Targeted RHIs, and set it to DirectX 11. Then type Translucency to locate Enable Order Independent Translucency and enable it. Restart Unreal. Once you relaunch, you will see Clo Live Sync as an option under Window. Launch the editor. Open a Clo 3D project and run out your normal animation workflow. I use the basic Thomas avatar with two garments I created already. Click on this video from Clo to learn more about animation and garment settings. Once the animation is done, save and switch back to simulation mode and be sure simulation is off. In the upper left, you will see the Clo icon. Click it. It will take a while to update depending on the complexity of your animation. Once your animation is loaded, select the garment and choose Geometry Cache and a save location. Same for the avatar. Save the skeletal mesh and Geometry Cache. It takes a few minutes. Once complete, drag the Geometry Cache avatar from the Outliner into the world. Also drag the Geometry Cache garment into the world. Line them up. Then create a new sequence. Drag each of them from the Outliner into the Sequencer. Add Geometry Cache to each track in the Sequencer. In my example, I added a camera and I dragged it into the sequencer. I added keyframes for motion and focus. I also added lights and I turned off the visibility of the main light by hiding it in the game so it doesn't end up as part of my final render. Lastly, I sent the sequence to the render queue and used these settings to create a JPEG sequence. I created an MP4 by using Media Encoder. I hope this has been helpful. Leave me questions in the comments if you have any trouble.